Hey guys, you got Bub031 here again. About to do another review on another car, couple of cars that I just picked up from Otter Valley a few weeks back. Today we're going to be talking about and reviewing the HOTM Aluminum Coal Gondola and Canadian National .ca scheme. So, hope you guys are ready. I'll do an unboxing, a quick review of the car, and compare it with a couple of other of style of this type of car that have a different name. So, let's uh, crack on. <laughs> So, now we got that out of the way, let's crack on and open this bad boy up. So, Atlas Trainman, uh, one step, I believe, lower than their Masterline series. The boxes before from one of their other runs uh, was a little bit cheap. Well, the plastic, I believe, was a little bit but uh, cheaper, but looks like they came through on this one a lot better. Before, it used to be completely sealed. Now you can actually put the gut grab spots to pull and take it out. So, there we go. Not bad packaging. Held really secure. Oof. You just gotta love that new car smell. Everyone loves that as soon as they open a brand new package. Am I right? <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Has a good size weight to it. Jeez, I don't even have it on the track yet, and it's rolling away from me. All right. Put that away for now. And, yeah. Looks like a really good car. So, yeah. Let's dive on into this uh, little review and uh, as well as some history. So on the box, it says that it's a aluminum coal gondola, Canadian National, but from other manufacturers and from what I've looked up, it's actually called a Beth Gong. These were built by Freight Car America. Freight Car America's aluminum Beth Gong with its patented twin tubes, twin tubs, is the industry's leading coal gondola car. If forefront the most recognized coal gondola in the industry. Having delivered over 70,000 cars, it is the best-selling rail car ever produced by the company. Since the original Beth Gone was introduced in 78, it has demonstrated track record of reliability performance over a million service miles. The aluminum Beth Gone, with a light weight of 41,700 pounds, has, has the carrying capacity of 244,330 pounds and a volume of 4,911 cubic feet. The best gone features Freight Car America's patented top choice with integral dumps, dumper clamp reinforcements and patent cold roller center sills. This lightweight 70 KSI yield steel backbone is used in every one of the coal cars that are built. This car can also be equipped with Freight Car America's patented aluminum side stakes with integral wear bears that help protect the side stakes during rotary dumping. The Beth Gong 2 was specifically developed for the transport of Eastern coal. This hybrid gondola can utilize stainless steel, aluminum, and mild steel materials to maintain and operate efficiency expected from the line of Beth Gong. 
So there's a lot of these cars hauling coal. Sometimes you'll see them on the East Coast, but with Canada, they're mostly all on the West Coast, especially with CN and CP. Here though we have is a CM Mark one. So let's go over the review and see how it is. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So, <clears throat> nice crisp paint, painted aluminum, so that's not bad. Very crisp lettering. Uh, you can actually read the limits of all the car. Nice. This is also in the CN.CA scheme. Molded. Molded in grab irons. Yeah, we got molded in grab irons instead of uh, part, uh, grab irons put in place. 100 uh, ton trucks. With the thick sides, that way, which is good to go. You can see the braking detail on the inside, which is not bad. Molded chain and handbrake. Handbrake applied separately, but the chain is molded into the actual car body from the car body, so, yeah, that looks pretty good. We got the FRA safety stripes along the side. The weight of the car is actually at the bottom here. It's the actual part of the tub, which is actually pretty neat how they did that. change your truck so you got to use a flathead screwdriver from what it looks like compared to what the other ones used to be which was a phillips so that's not bad also on the side here we got the so we got the red paint blotch also on the back here designated that this is the rotary end even though they don't actually rotate in real and we got the standard atlas couplers on each side not bad I may have to change these out, though, to uh, set it with the other train. And on top, it comes with a very nice load. Very, compared to some of the ones that I've seen before. Uh, I wish I could pull it out, but uh, just for now, I'm not going to. I don't know. Not a bad little car. Let's see how it rolls. Rolls really good. So, what I now have out in front of you is a few of the other coal porters that I had bought over the last little while and build up to it. As you can see, what we have here on the left is the uh, one of the earlier runs of the atlas model of the uh, trinity gondola we have here is the inner mountain value line this one's a double ended rotary we also have the walters main line and on the far right right here we have the athrent rtr beth gone coal porter they're all marked as CN road numbers, but you could, there is a lot of difference compared to what you see from each of the car. For instance, the Atlas and the Walters, they don't come with loads. Whereas the Intermountain and the Walters don't come with loads. My mistake. The Atlas and the Atherin come with loads. Whereas the Walters, the Atlas, and the Atlas, the Walters, the Air Mountain, and the Atherin, they have a little bit more detail on the ends with reading and all that, whereas the Atlas just has a quick reporting mark and no stats on the end of the car. 
as well as the couplers are different. I'm going to change that. I'm probably going to put KDs on the all the Atlas ones that I've received. But uh, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a train when it's pulled by my SD70s that you will probably that you have seen in the past, and with more of these cars, you'll probably see in the future. So I got these for a good price. These four units from Otter Valley Trains, uh, $24.99, very good price, especially for this style of car and this brand with the Atlas Trainman. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that will be it for my review. Thanks a lot, guys. Should be more to come. And as always, make sure the signal's green. Keep moving down the line.